Here you have the present. Here you have tomorrow. I want you to jump into tomorrow. Can you do that? Can you jump from the present into tomorrow? You can't, huh? You see, in reality, time does not really exist. In fact, time goes in reverse. The present now exists here. Nobody is able to go into the future. You cannot go into the future forward time. So, can we exist within the future and the past and the present at the same time? Within the absence of time, you can exist within the present, the past, and the future at the same time. Now, this is the way it, this is the way you do it. Each of these cards represents one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds worth. So, I'm going to show you how we actually exist within the absence of time. And we could exist at three locations at the same time. Because in reality, we are existing without time. I'm going to show you here. Within the present, you cannot jump into the future. Try it. In other words, here, here you are in the present. Can you jump into the future? Can you jump into tomorrow? Hmm? The future? No. You can't do it. When in fact, I'm going to show you that the present is actually the future, the past, and the present at the same time. Watch. Within the present, we have one second. There it is, one second. We're going to freeze it. As we freeze this time, we're going to bring in the second second. <laughs> We're going to bring in the second, second, <laughs> just a second. <laughs> this is the now, one second. The one second is replaced by a new second, two seconds. A new now has emerged. As the new now is emerged, the previous now moves towards the past, into the past. Right here. This represents the now. Time, right now, the present. The present is replaced by a new now. And as the old previous now is replaced, the previous now is moved from the present and it goes into the past. The now, you have the present and the previous now exists within the past. Now, each second that passes 
here. The new now. replaces the previous now which becomes the past so instead of time going forward time is actually going backwards into the past And within the now and within the previous now, which is the past, we are existing right now in two states at the same time we exist within the now present which just left and became a previous now the past as the time moves backwards in time being replaced by different nouns then we could see how time does not go forward but it actually stays the same it doesn't really change because right now we are existing within the present now which just left and became a previous now the past and now a little bit and to make things a little bit more interesting we are existing when now in three places at the same time within the past Here. with this perspective right now with only with one second you could exist within the present which became the past and from the within the past you could actually look and exist within the future for example let's just say this is the history right as this one goes this way into the past and this one goes into the past and this you have here the present when you look into the past from this perspective you are looking, you are building a future from this point up to here. As this moves this way and is replaced by a new now, a new present, the future, the timeline actually exists at the same time but the present and the past and the future see now we're building an arrow of time the arrow of time goes from the past towards the present It doesn't go forward from here, the present, towards tomorrow. Rather, it goes from the present towards the past. And from the past, you create 
you look at the future and it begins with the present as the now is being replaced by a different now then you can see the timeline actually being created right before your eyes so here you have the future is actually the present and the past is actually the new present becoming a previous now as the now the now present leaves and becomes a previous now it is replaced with a new present <clears throat> and as the new present <clears throat> is replaced by a new present the previous now exists here and it builds a timeline that goes backwards in time and so we could exist within the absence of time at three locations at the same time since time is not a physical object we can exist within an eternal non-physical state at the same time we could exist at three different locations at once but because we have mass we cannot physically move within and exist within three locations at once only because the speed of light the greater the speed the greater the mass so the faster you go the greater the mass accumulates like a snowball you have a snowball a rock let's say and it begins to build a momentum from the top of a mountain and it gathers snow the faster it goes and the more it builds up snow the greater the mass is going to be at the end result at the bottom of the hill so because we have mass then we physically cannot move at three places at the same time but in reality we are existing within an eternal absence of time and once our physical bodies disappear our information non-physical state which is not a physical object will be able to exist at two or three places at once we will not be confined to one location we will be able to exist within many places just by thinking and we shall be there